Hey, Mitch. Oh, hi, Ed. How are you? Oh, I'm excited. We finally reached a milestone. What does that mean, Ed? The, you got the cease and desist order from the Bernie Capel fan club? No, no. We've reached a thousand subscribers. Oh, that means there's actually 999 more people than I thought watching this. Yeah. Well, anyway, you know what that means? That we have a thousand viewers? No, no, that it's time for me to eat this 47 year old bubble gum from Saturday Night Fever. Oh, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, this is Ed Dollister. And this is Mitch Halleck. And welcome to another exciting episode of Mitch and Ed's Excellent Adventure. If it's your first time here, thanks so much for joining us. If you are one of our thousand plus regular subscribers, thank you so much for uh, subscribing. But you know what you can do? You can find out a little bit more about our show. How can you do that, Mitch? Oh, Ed, all you have to do, like a thousand other people have, is pound that subscribe button down below and pretend that you're munching on some old chewing gum from 48 years ago that doesn't taste like death. All you do is hit the subscribe button below and you will be subscribed and join the Mitch and Ed's Excellent Adventure Army as we take over the YouTubes looking at movies, TV, toys, and more right here, right now. What are we doing today, Ed? Well, Mitch, I, uh, you know, whenever we've hit a milestone, I think it was like, um, might have been a hundred. I don't even know if it was a hundred subscribers and five hundred subscribers. We've yeah. always eaten something a little bit pop culturey and a little bit off. So I know I went for the nineteen ninety nine Pepsi that you can um, find out about here. You yeah. got to eat some nineteen eighty nine Batman cereal. Oh, we'll put that, that up as disgusting. well here. Yeah. And uh, today, for a thousand subscribers, I've got this sealed wax pack of saturday night fever bubble gum holy john travolta you're not gonna open that and eat that are you well i am i'm gonna open it gen i do have um i do have some coffee to wash it down and i think this coffee cup signifies what this is this is going to be a dumb day so oh. we'll see we'll see what happens so um while i'm opening this gently uh did you know that uh the first company to have um bubblegum in uh in trading cards was in it was in 1933 was that the top trading card company no it was uh the goody company and they had um they had baseball cards in there and yeah. then in the 1950s tops um started to um do that because they were originally the tops chewing gum company yes and um yeah. they wanted to to uh push more bubblegum so uh -huh. they actually stopped See, we have to be a bit educational. Um, they actually stopped um this in the 1990s, I believe. Yeah. Um, because they didn't want to have um the bubble gum staining the cards. The powdered sugar was yep. ruining the cards. And then they got yeah. rid of um the wax packs um yep. just a few years later because they didn't want that staining the card. So okay. No, they have like enough. a foil. I open it up in yeah. front of Yeah. Well, oh, this looks good. Ooh, I these are minty fruit. That. Look at okay. that. You can see John Travolta right there. And is that right. I'm gonna is it oh. that I hope it's you actually didn't stuck. Donna... Hang on, it's stuck. That might be Donna Pescow. It's stuck. Hang to on, me. let's uh, I'll have a look at the cards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh good. Yeah. These look pretty it's a cool. Good one at the galaxy. Oh, uh... That's oh, a classic. That. Yes. Oh, with oh. the Rocky poster? Yeah. Double pop yeah. culture. Yeah. Yep. Oh, look at that, the hair. That's at the paint store, I believe. Yep. You know, I had a star of that movie at my terrific con. Uh, did you? Bob Costanza. He was the guy in the paint store. Yeah. Ah, oh, cool. All right. And so, he... um, Ew. it's actually, like it already got chewed. It's actually stuck to the Hang on. Ooh. All right. There be it better is. Better off being the rapper. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh, you know what? Smell? Oh my god. What? It smells like it's still got it's still got that smell of that pink smell, that yeah. sugary smell. Yeah. All right. All right. Hang on. Oh. Is it cardboard coming off with it? Oh, oh it's hang on. Oh, Maybe I need to wedge. 
You know, I think I ate uh, the Howard the Duck gum at one point on the show, and it was just like crumbled. Okay, it's crumbling, but I don't want to wreck the card because oh, these are minty cards. Yeah, yeah, it might be worth at least a dollar. I I remember years ago paying about ten bucks for this uh, set. Did you really? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> All right, the card's free. The gum right. is it. The gum is here. Okay, right. okay. Oh, look at that! Right in there. There you go. Let it let it dissolve. Is it liquefying yet? Is it chewy at least? No, you can't talk. Is it sweet? Are you, are you gonna get sick? You, oh no! Oh no! It, oh no! It's getting disgusting. Sick. Of course it is. Oh. It's eight years old. Boy, forty-seven years old. Forty-seven. Well, you know, that one um, year is gonna make a. Are you, are you wait a minute? You didn't even blow a bubble with it. I can't blow a bubble with it. Why? Oh, I just ate it. Oh no! You swallowed it. You're not supposed to swallow gum. It won't well, pass not, through your I? system. No, it'll it'll rot in your gut. Damn. What the hell? Well, there's there goes there goes the thousand viewers. I hope they're happy. I hope those people are going to tune in and watch you get sick. So, as a public service announcement, don't oh, eat yeah. old bubble gum. No, it um tastes it's chalky. It chalky. Oh no! And I am literally running out of time because I think I need to go get my stomach pumped. That tastes um that tasted disgusting. Why don't you wash it down? Well, there you go with a coffee. Yikes. Oh. Well, that was worth the wait. Thanks, thousand uh, subscribers. I know. Now, Mitch, that means you're due next time. <laughs> Surely. What's the milestone? Uh 1500 or 1400. All right. I will uh well, you know, I just got some Star Wars milk. It's blue milk, but I don't think that's gonna really do anything. No, I unless do... well, but it will probably be long past the Dubai date by the I time. I have we a get can of uh, Phantom Menace Mountain Dew from 1999 that's unopened. Perfect. If we want to break, because God knows that's it's the 25th anniversary of the Phantom Menace, so maybe that'll be a thing. Maybe we should do that as a a, a, a review. Nah. Yeah. 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 yeah, we can do that. We've got we to do, do we Saturday Star Night Wars. Fever. You know. We did we could do Saturday Night Fever. Yeah. Or we did Grease, didn't we? We could do a John Travolta double feature. That's how I saw those movies. Back to back. They made a rated PG version yes, of Saturday did. Night Fever and they showed it with Grease and I saw it on a double bill back in the day. Because people forget that it's quite um it's quite an adult film. Yes, it is. And it it's is also a... made for people that are older than kids. Not like the new Deadpool trailer that dropped today that has seven or eight f bombs in it, and I'm like, I'm not sure I'm happy about that. I I, mean, I was like, you do know you got an R rating, and you're not going to have any kids see it, and this is supposed to restart the Marvel universe. That was, that was a good idea. Yeah. Anyway, I wasn't I wasn't too thrilled. I couldn't. You know what? I couldn't what? even put that on my Facebook page because it was flagged for violating community rules. It wouldn't let me uh, post the trailer on it. There you go. Yeah. How are you going to promote something that you can't talk about? Oh, wow. Well, true. Anyway, well, you know what they can talk about, Ed? What? Our show. Yes. And how would they, and how would they go about telling people about? I don't know. Mitch how, Mitch? I don't know. I'm throwing it to you after a thousand. I think when you see the next time, I'm going to have a whole new set. We're going to That's change right. the whole yeah. process. I'm going to be played by a different person. Yeah, we've got a new showrunner, which is great. You know, Ed it's McGinley's all happening. coming in as me. Who is? Ted McGinley. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to be replaced. Uh, we're only, we're only going to last about four more episodes after that. So, yeah. oh, well. And, and we're going new with you. We're going to try a whole new thing. Chuck yeah, well, I'm getting, some, I'm getting some Botox some and Pink Center yeah. uh, injections. So that'll be all good. Yeah. Margot so Robbie's going to be playing you. She, she can play me anytime. Easy now. All right. You know what you can do? What can you do, Mitch? Oh, and you could just sit back and stare at the TV like you're drooling on some Thorazine at a mental hospital. <laughs> All you got to do is press the subscribe button. <laughs> you too will be subscribed to Mitch Mitch.
excellent adventure and watch us go to the cuckoo's nest every yeah. week right here on the mighty youtube and don't forget if you've got a suggestion for a topic or anything like that um keep it clean yep yeah, but <laughs> keep it in and put it in the comments below we'd love to hear from you signing you know off what i think we what? should do okay. no before you sign off i sure. think you and i should dress as world war ii aviators with some of those sh jackets and those shirts that have the pockets and the little things on the thing mm -hmm. and just have a really pale uh pallor to our skin and unshaven and just stare at the screen and talk about we're really depressed for about five hours yeah yep we could do that now we've got too much of a life i think to uh do that so yeah, i'm sorry right. i snapped okay. out of it real quick I don't that's know. all right so signing off Hopefully not for the last time. I'm going to go have a bit of a puke. I will see you next time. This is Ed Dollister. This is Mitch Halleck. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.